Riders on the Tower of Doom, an amusement park ride, experience two seconds of free fall, after which they are slowed to a stop in 0.5 seconds. What is a 65 kilogram rider's apparent weight as the ride is coming to rest? Okay, so what we have here is an amusement park ride where let's imagine a cart that is in free fall for two seconds and the cart started off at some point in the ride where its initial velocity was zero and its final velocity after a period of two seconds of free fall is something that we have to find out and then it experiences a deceleration for 0 0.5 seconds after which the rider comes to a stop so its velocity at the stop is zero so our initial velocity is zero so let's find our acceleration um, we know the acceleration to gravity is 9.8 so we can say from our formula we know the acceleration is velocity final minus velocity initial over change in time and our acceleration over here is the same as acceleration due to gravity because the person in the cart is in free fall so our a is g so g equals our vf minus our vi which is zero because our initial velocity is zero over change in time which is two seconds so our vf or our final velocity after two seconds of free fall is the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meters per second square into two seconds so our final velocity after two seconds of free fall is 19.6 meters per second now what is the deceleration as the cart of the amusement park ride comes to a stop so acceleration again uh, now we will just call acceleration deceleration is equal to velocity final minus velocity initial over change in time we know our velocity final is zero because the cart comes to a stop so zero minus our velocity initial is now the same as our velocity final after two seconds of free fall which is 19.6 meters per second and our delta t or change in time is 0 0.5 seconds that's how long it takes for the amusement park ride to come to a stop so there's a deceleration effectively so this is negative 19.6 meters per second over 0 0.5 seconds which is Um, negative 39.2 meters per second square. Now, what is the force with which this person is effectively decelerated? So force we know is mass times acceleration. We know his mass to be, um, let's see here, his mass is 65 kilograms. And we know his deceleration as he comes to a stop is um, 39.2 meters per second square so multiplying those numbers 65 times 39.2 we get 2548 newtons we are asked to find what his apparent weight is while he comes to a to a halt here so we know the force um, which is expressed in newtons of his deceleration is 2548 newtons but this needs to be added to his his weight as 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 he is which is his weight is just his mass times which is 65 kilograms times his the acceleration due to gravity which is 637 newtons that's just his mass mg and this needs to be added to the force of his deceleration to calculate the apparent weight as he comes to a stop in the amusement park ride. So 637 plus 2548 gives us 3185 newtons, which is, is his apparent weight or her apparent weight, whoever.